This is our makeshift uh, porta potty. Yeah, sand on the thing back there. You can't see it, but we, you, after you do a number two, you scoop some sand and dump it on there. This is out in the woods. The camp is over there, and uh, we got our own outhouse. This is what you do when you camp in the woods and you don't have uh, an outhouse. You make yourself an outhouse. Mom. The mice got in the toilet paper last night. You gotta hide them all. Then when you're done, you take this cup here. And then you bring it down here in the sand. And just fill it up. So the next time you gotta go, you gotta a scoop it up. There. This is it. Basically have this waiting when you gotta take a number two. You just bring yourself a, some dirt. Boom. Savage. Sitting there camping. Uh, this is right by my my camp. Just sitting there catching, popping these little brookies. These are the little ones. I'm right by my camp, but um, Marie just came down here and watched me catch a couple. It's um. So beautiful down here. It's, I mean, it's just a nice temperature. It's crazy. Can I get zoomed in on these little fish I got? So pretty. Just let this guy go. Just look around. It's so beautiful. I'm zoomed. Oh, man, it's so pretty here. Peaceful and quiet. Love it. Just sitting on this log. <laughs> Well, I was I was fishing this row of mangroves. You see where it's kind of dark in there? And I'm like, there's got to be a nice trout in there. It's got to be a nice one. It's just got to be. And I just, there's no way that 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 dark patch of mangroves under there, it's just, it's got to be a big one. Even though I'm like 20 yards from where the access point is. I'm like, most people don't know. That's got to be a good spot. So I let this worm float down there twice. I got a couple little nibbles, boom, boom, boom. I said, got to be a big one. Just keep trying. And uh, sure enough, man, I set the hook. I thought it was snagged. This big old bad boy. This is about a 10 inch, 10 inch brookie. He's going to be in the frying pot. Frying pot. Beautiful, big, fat brookie, man. Ooh, this is nice. Perfect eating 10 incher. He's actually hooked. I could let him go. But Maria, we had so we enjoyed dinner so much last night that, that, uh, I mean, it's pretty fish. Look at this beautiful brookie I caught. Man, I wish we were in the sun so we could really get a good look at him. Beautiful brookie. And this is this is prime fish. He could get off. If he does, he gets off on it. Look at that thing. Wow. Pretty. Perfect eating size. It's about 10, 11 inches fat. Put up a great fight. He's gonna fry up good. We had him last night. Oh, man, I like to let these go if I can hook them in the mouth, but man, I just wanna make sure we have a good dinner. It was um, beautiful fish. Wow, look at the colors. So I just wanna, I wanna make sure we have a nice dinner for the night. I was looking at this spot here and I was like, my God, there's gotta be a fish in there. And it's got to be like under there. It's perfect. I ran a worm through there. I got a couple nibbles, small fish, I could tell. Like, There's got to be a big one in there. So I ran a full, nice, brand new night crawler through there. Boom, boom, boom. I was like, I thought it was snagged. He put up so much weight and fight. I was like, man. So let's get him in the creel and uh, we'll be eating good tonight. I'll catch like two more of those and dinner's set. Some of the rivers I fish are beautiful. Well, they're all beautiful. But some are just spectacular. It's just, just look at this. Can you, I don't know if you can, I can't zoom in, I'm on cinematic, but I just caught a nice 10, 11 inch brookie. This is like a little valley, this tree fell over, I'm gonna climb over it, and it's a pain in the butt, I just go right there. Um, all these trees, when they fall over, they create holes and pockets for the trout, which is good. But it's just cool that you got this big cliff I mean, that's a, a sheer, almost straight cliff, which sucks because I was hoping to come back that way through the woods, but uh, I ain't getting up that. I mean, that's a 100-foot cliff, and it's pretty steep. No, I'm not getting up it. But um, it's just fun, man, just being out here in the woods and these 
little streams and brooks catching the trout. I love it, man. This is my jam. Just saying. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here. You see that red squirrel right there? <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here fishing this hole. This log is cool. This old tree. And there's a big deep hole there. And I, I know it's been. Look at they're, they're fighting them, two squirrels. I'm sitting there. Look at it. They go run up the hill. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sitting there fishing right here. And the squirrels come running and jump on this log right here, run up and down this dead tree, and run over there and go. Brrr. I'm like, they didn't even, they didn't even notice me or care. It was funny as hell. This is the best hole on the river, and I didn't catch a fish in it, so it's either fished out or this really big one in there, and he's not eating worms. That's my guess. Um, I caught a couple. Little, well, I did catch a couple little. Well, well, no, not in the deep hole. In the deep hole, I had one hit, and it was a nice fish. <clears throat> I lost it. <clears throat> Which tells me if, if it's, there's a big one in there, a really big one, and he ain't eating worms, you know what I'm saying? He's eating other fish. So, a lot of little ones in this area, though. I can't get around it. I'm heading back upstream, and just looking at this uh, big widow making tree here. This huge tree leans over. I mean, I mean, wouldn't that be something if you're like, flipping along got a few trout in here I got one real nice one um reel my line up so as I go over this thing um I think it's this particular river stretch of river is very heavily fished because there is one access point and that's late in the season there's an outstanding hole right up there um where that log is and it's uh there's no I didn't get a bite in there which tells me that it's probably a giant fish in there and he's not eating worms and he's probably been caught at least once so he's very fickle um there's a couple good holes here and, and wherever there was a good hole here i didn't catch anything which tells me either they've been caught or like caught and kept or caught previously and are suspicious because they saw some silt coming downstream they saw the ripples in the river as I waded downstream and they knew something was up because the last time they saw ripples like that or silt in the stream, they got a hook in the mouth and something dragged them in. Probably let them go. Obviously, this is still there. Like down, down in that, is, there's definitely fish. Uh, I can't say. There's definitely some couple of big ones in there. But this hole up here, look at this. Anyway, this is a giant tree. That thing's are gonna go any day. I mean, shouldn't talk too loud. That mother sucker falls over. I'm dead. Be a horrible way to go. Giant widow maker. Oh, I mean, that thing could go any day, just like these other ones. I mean, that's a probably 200,000 pound tree. Huge. It's a white pine. I mean, if it goes over, look at the size of that man <clears throat> it goes over where I'm standing right under it like a dumbass and all these other trees here have fallen over at some point too this is the hole in fact I'm, I think I'm going to throw another worm in there just this whole all this log jam the water flows under it creates a a hole underneath that the trout really like because they can sit up under out of the current and food kind of just kind of drifts over their head and they pop it. There's definitely some big ones in there. I would I would wait till two or three very big trout are in there. Could be more, could five, ten of them, I don't know, but a certain one. It could be one just Debo in there. He's just a monster. He's like, my hole. Anybody else come up in here, we're gonna fight. Maybe he'll eat them. I caught a I caught a 10 inch trout with a mouth print on it. Something tried, something tried to eat it. It's in this river shed too. And there's no pike in here. So the only thing they could have tried to eat a 10 inch trout was another trout. Ow, this is crazy. Had to, so in order to eat a 10 inch trout, you'd have to be about a 20 inch trout. And that's crazy to think that there's 20 inch trout in here. My biggest is about 16. 
That hole right there, it's just good. I'm gonna wait over here, put a fresh worm on there, see if I can, see how I'm rippling the water though? The fish can see that. And they can hear this, they can hear me moving around under all that logs, under all that stuff, right in there, right there, is where the, where's where the fish would be. And there are. I actually had one hit right over there, under that brush there, but uh, didn't hook him. So, anyways, at least I didn't have a tree fall on me. And now that I look at, looking at it, there's another one or two right here. Look, they get ready to fall. And it's a windy day, so. The crap. The cabin up there. Wow. Look at that. We are in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God. That is insane. Right on the edge of that hill. Look at that. What kind of cabin? Hunting cabin, maybe? Wow. And we're 20 miles off the road. 20 miles back in here. That's pretty crazy. Well, God bless him. Got a hell of a view right there, buddy. Can't knock him. You want me to? You want to see me? I'm seeing you. <laughs> What's I'm up? Gone. I'm a dangerous felon. You look like a dangerous felon. Cat burglar. Yeah, oh, look at that. Cinematic's cool because it blurs the background. Um, so we are having one of our biannual, triannual, quad annual shooting contests between myself and my wife. Um, Typically, she's a little better than me, um, but we got new BB guns, and we couldn't even find the old brand that we bought, which is uh, Daisy, which is a good one. Um, so we had to buy Crossman, which they're okay, but they're um, the trigger pulls really hard, which makes it really hard to shoot. So they're they're harder to sh you know shoot. Also, if you know, there's a there's our crapper back there, our our, our, our homemade crapper. Uh, so you don't you don't want to shoot the crapper. No, uh, don't shoot the crapper. Shoot the crap. So so we got targets in the tree there, and um, what we're gonna do is what do we? What's the wager again? Uh, um, prepare the dinner. Sexual? No, no. no. Pre prepare the dinner. You sure it wasn't sexual? I'm pretty sure. All right, prepare the dinner. So <laughs> so, so I gotta clean. The, I have to clean the fish, anyways. And then you're going to prepare them. Or whoever wins gets to sit back and relax over dinner. And then the other one, like, you know, prepares and cooks That'll the never dinner. happen. You'll help me and that'll be All that. All right, whatever. So I think I can beat her, but it's going to be tough because I have uh, this janky new BB gun. That I have a janky new BB gun. Yeah, we both have janky. Women are typically better shots than men with guns. That's the true fact. Why is that? I think Finer it, attention to detail? Mm, I think it's because when you t you first learn how to shoot uh, as a young boy a gun, you have a certain set of mechanisms that you develop for shooting, and then someone hands you a pistol when you're older, and the me mechanisms from your childhood uh, don't translate to the pistol. Whereas with a woman, she's never shot nothing. You say, "Here's a pistol. Just do do your own natural mechanism and let it kind of just." feel right and do it and they do it they just kind of naturally breathe where a man is trying to trying to replicate his where we shoot women. i just think i have better eyesight no it's typically women are better a, a better shot I don't know. But let's see let's, let's see what you got so, what so should I shoot at? whatever it doesn't matter you can shoot any in. well how you know if i hit the box because you can't tell for sure it goes right through it or the thing on the side Wait. the thing on the side is the big win if you shoot the thing off that tree you should automatically win it's just barely on there that it's a worm j container on a stuck on the side of the tree. So if you shoot that thing off the tree, it's a, it's a, it's a straight win. Yeah. Uh, right, we go with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot the can a couple times. This is proof that I'm an awesome shot. I don't know how to get the zoom back in. What do you mean? Well, where, where to go? I have no idea. I don't know how to use this. We got new phones. I don't know how to use it. iPhone 14. Well, what did you do? I I was using it all the time. It went away. That's all right. We all can right, see. There we go. One, two, uh, uh, three. That's pretty good. Four. Nice. Uh, uh, so you're constantly aiming for the orange thing? Yeah. 
this time. Ah, five, so nice. Five. Yep. Six. Six, good job. Seven. Uh-uh. Eight. Nice, you're on a roll. That's pretty and, damn good. I almost out of it. I, I, I got to put a new CO2 in this thing. That's pretty damn good. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, empty. Nine. Nine. Oh, That's pretty not, damn not good. Uh, out of what, 20 shots? No, I, I was I was short a couple of shots, and I fired a couple before that. So, uh. so uh, out of 18, I, I got nine. I got half my shots. Not bad. Oh, here, shoot me, and then we'll uh, pause. Shoot you? Uh, shoot. <laughs> no pun intended. Exactly. Shoot, shoot you. Why can't we zoom in now? Oh, I'm gonna. Okay, we're back. Maria's turn. Boom. We're not going cinematic because the freaking iPhone 14 is retarded. Uh oh. Concentrate. What, what, what one are you shooting at? Oregon. I don't even know where it's going. Not hitting. Nope. Better aim higher. It might be pretty high. What, you, what the hell is that? You hit the tree. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh oh. Four. Five, uh oh. Six, uh oh. Seven, come on now. Ah, oh, seven. All right, we'll 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 be back with the the next round. Right. I really had a handicap on that last one because I was down two bullets, but. Well. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, but I was also aiming for that low thing, and mine goes really high. Oh, oh, you got excuses, really? Yeah. yeah. I was aiming for that low thing, and I hit it every time. Well, you you have an excuse if you're missing two BBs, so let's go. What's that's not a, that's not an excuse. I literally handicapped myself with two. I mean, you should you should not like like uh. Listen, lack of preparation on your part does not constitute a win on my part. What the hell does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I just fired two BBs before, so I'm uh, put myself at a handicap. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's see what so you got. If you're worth in two shots, then uh -huh. it don't count. Uh, I didn't have mine fill either. <clears throat> Now, you're what hitting that tree hell? all the way back there. What, what? I can't even see where the bee's going. I'm not <laughs> aiming for that other can. <laughs> that was with me the last round. Oh, one. Then I turned it sideways, and so now it's yeah, now harder. it's harder. Ah. Oh. We're oh. too close. We gotta go back five feet in the next round. Eight. This is way too close. This is actually perfect. No. Well, we're only hitting fifty percent. I only got nine. Uh, did you get the last one? No. No, eight. Oh no. All right. So I got eight. Let's see. Quickly going downhill. I mean, that's almost the same as you did last time. It's pretty good. Oh, man, I fired him first like seven shots and it didn't hit Dizzle. Oh, do you see how high that went? No. 
See? Are you seeing something? It's like not even. I'm hearing it ripping through the woods back there. You gotta dial it in. No. It doesn't shoot consistently. <laughs> it does. No, it doesn't. Where's the one? Do you see how high it's going? Ah, uh, you gotta dial it in. Yeah, oh. Bad. 10 points. Yeah, shoot that thing on the ground still if you want. You can if you want. See how high it's going? That's insanity. You gotta dial it in. I'm like literally. How many you got? Nothing. Two. You got two. This is the stupidest gun. I'm aiming and it's going literally five feet higher. This is terrible compared to that Glock I have. Terrible. You got two. I got seven, eight. You yeah. want a better gun than I got. You want to use mine? Yeah. Okay, last round. We'll even it up. I'll let her use my gun. Huh? All right. Boom. Here, you feel mine. All right, back for round three. We switched guns. I'm over here. <laughs> if you can get, if you can get the win with my gun, I give you props. I'm man. up right now, seven to ten. Well, I had a handicap. Also, I'm drinking Coke. Co. <laughs> Co. Co. I'm gonna hiccup. And uh, that's because it's a little bit cool. Yeah, and, um, it's very autumnal right now. And I like cocoa. Oh, cocoa likes you. So. Yeah, let's see what you got. Let's see how bad I can beat you with bad eyes. And, and a new gun. And a new gun. Tony, my gun aims high, so. You have it pushed in already? Yeah. It's not shooting. Put, pop it in better. You got it jammed? I don't know. Let me see. What's your malfunction? Oh no, they're coming out. I'm seeing them. Mm. You're just not hitting it. No, no it's not. not. What's wrong? Let me see. There, you broke my gun. They're coming out. No, they're not. Look. Oh. What the fuck is going on, you cheap ass? You know what? Let me see the. Let me see the. Let me see that thing. Let's try this again. You broke my gun. I'm keeping yours. Now it's shooting. Ah, one. Is that a hit? It hit the tree. Did it count? No. Two. Three. Four. No, hit the tree. What the frick? <laughs> oh man, that thing does shoot high. I told you. Five. That's it. Six. Six? I mean, that's pretty darn good. It's better than I thought you'd get. Well, let's see if you, the sharpshooter, can dial it in. You have to dial it in. If it's shooting high, you just aim low. Yeah, well, the problem is it's not consistent. No, it's not. It's cheap guns. Yeah, trigger's worse. Oh, are they even coming out? Yeah, I don't think it is. Let me, all right. Show me how it's done, baby. Okay, this is a five-point shot. So, if you, if you get it, five points. So, theoretically, if you 
if you get it and I don't, you could beat me. You're going to get it. Maybe. You shoot this thing all the time. I've never shot it. Or if I have, maybe once. Yeah, you got it. Did I? Yeah, you got the blue one. It sounds like it's a tree, though. No, it ricocheted off the tree. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll even... <laughs> I'll give you 10 points if you can hit, hit it. There's no sight on this thing. It's very powerful. Um, 22 caliber. Bad mamma jamma. Safety is off. It's hot. Okay. So, I'll give you two. Aim down the barrel. You got to aim down the barrel. Okay. Good. I would go for the blue one because it's the biggest target. Just look down the barrels till it seems like it's gonna be, okay. it's gonna be on. Oh. You missed. Game over. It looks like somebody's prepping dinner. <laughs> uh, wah, wah, wah. That's all right. It was fun. <laughs> Entertainment value. Was awesome. That was a good time. I'm just saying. Target shooting with your wife. I mean, that's the type of bonding that we love. Right. Right. Just. I don't know wood target shooting with BB guns and pellet guns. Your thumbs and fingers all the way. Everybody. We're f we're fifty years old, yep. acting like we're fourteen. <laughs> all right, but it's part of the fun. You hear that? Hear that bird? That, ah, 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 ah. That's a nuthatch. Somewhere out there. Let's look at our our target. Looks like somebody shot him a bird shot from a bee from a shotgun. <laughs> Boom. 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 These things have shot the crap. It's a good time. And if you don't I was just telling her, if you don't think a BB gun is will hurt somebody, they're blowing right through these cans. And think about how hard a can is. Now imagine trying to take like a knife and cutting knife or human flesh. Now imagine how hard you'd have to cut, press, to cut right through a tin can. Trust me, it's a uh, BB gun. If somebody shoots you in the face, especially the eyes area with a BB gun, you have a really, really bad day. Just saying. How'd you sleep? Hurt damn good. But now you're struggling to get up off the ground. I'm looking for my shirt. There it is. Bang yeah. Oh, come on. It's just out of reach. There's a lot of groaning going on in there. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. Blue sky, sunshine, perfect temperatures. It's a great day for fun.